week 13 in college football here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with returning guest Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. And Steve, the second game you're going to talk about is Rice at UTEP. Now, last week, Rice got a big home win, which we both called as a, as a home underdog. I actually um, sold them up to, like, minus two. So I got big plus odds on that one with the win. Now they're going on the road as a one-point dog to UTEP. UTEP is not a bad uh, – well, they're, they're pretty bad, but they're in, in Rice's range. So I'm thinking maybe Rice got their win last week. UTEP gets their win this week. I'm thinking maybe UTEP minus one is a play. Interesting. I, I don't quite see it that way. Okay. So there are competing storylines in this game. Uh, head coach Mike Price for UTEP is going to retire. Mm-hmm. This is his retirement game. So his his seniors are sending him out with this final game. They are ineligible for a bowl. So this is the last game for sure of his career. Now, Price is playing for bowl eligibility. They have to win this game. This is their sixth game. And they will definitely go to a bowl game since Conference USA has six bowl tie-ins, and there are only three teams right now who are bowl eligible. So uh, we've seen this retirement story before. If you're hoping that UTEP's players will play up and extra motivated because of their coach retiring, if we look in the not-too-distant past, in 2003, famed coach Jackie Sherrill, his last game, and he made his players said they are going to play for him, was against, when he was at Mississippi State, he was in the Egg Bowl against Ole Miss, and while his bull, Bulldogs said they play for their coach in the final game of the season, final game of his career, it was a home game. They also were bull ineligible, just like UTEP this year, and they lost that game 31 to nothing. In 2004, Lou Holtz's last game at South Carolina, they lost that game 29 to seven, and they were uh, something like three point underdogs. That was to Clemson. So don't think that a pretty bad team can suddenly become good just because they're playing for their coach's last game. Right, yes. Rice has played in two bowl games in just the last 50 years. This is a must-win for that bowl game appearance. They are super motivated. I would give the edge to Rice in terms of motivation. Mm -hmm. This is senior day, Mm -hmm. but I would say this is one of the rare examples where senior day is actually going to hurt a team. It's going to hurt UTEP. Why? Mike Price will start his senior quarterback in his final collegiate game. Houston, after completing just eight passes and throwing four interceptions, he has not played in the last two games. They had a freshman quarterback who replaced him, who did fairly well, and he was definitely the better scrambler. But again, Mike Price, he wants to give his senior a chance to play in his last game. Sentimentally, that's understandable, but tactically, that is a bad move. Right. Rush defense is worse than their pass. And a less mobile pocket passer for this game, like UTEP senior quarterback, is even more problematic because UTEP just lost their top wide receiver. He's going to be out of this game following his arrest this past Sunday. Rice has, we talked about this last week, good running game. They're ranked 32nd in the country in rushing attack. UTEP's uh, defensive weakness is is, uh, defending the run. They're 88th in the country in rushing defense. In, just like we said last week, in five of Rice's six losses this year, the opposing team rushed for at least 235 yards. UTEP has rushed for 235 yards just once this year. It was against Central Florida, and that was when they had that, that freshman quarterback, and he accounted for 74 of those rushing yards. Don't look for the quarterback to account for many rushing yards this game. Rice is 8-1 and one against the spread in UTEP since 2003, 6-3 straight up. Rice has won four out of their last five games, both straight up and against the spread. UTEP has lost five of their last seven games against the spread. What is more? And finally, according to our own power ratings here at collegefootballwinning.com, we think that Rice should be around a three-point favorite in this game. So take Rice, even get one and a half, but we think you're safe taking Rice on the money line in this one. There you go. Can't get more thorough than that. Vintage uh, analysis by Steve from CollegeTripleWinning.com. And I think you're on the right side here. I might tail this one, Steve. Thanks so much.